Hey ladies, this is Latrina um, from Allure Trends coming back to you again, the life coach. So um, what I wanted to, I'm actually uh, wanted to give relationship advice to women so that way they can know um, how to avoid certain situations as far as being a booty call. You know, all of us women want to have a really great relationship. We want to be with a really great guy. We really want to be married and we want to live, you know, a really wonderful life with a husband and try to avoid games that some men play. And also women as well. Women can be players as well too. But these are uh, 10 to 11 steps on how to avoid to being a booty call. Okay? Now, you are looking for that special someone who you want to have a really great relationship with or a friendship. Follow these steps and you will not be a one night stand. Alright, so let's go with the first step, ladies. When you meet, when you first meet a guy, you meet him in public. You know, that's the first step. Don't meet a guy at your house because obviously if you meet him at your house, he's gonna he's gonna wanna have sex with you. Do not have sex with them, you know. Um you know, that's number one rule. If you don't, if you want him to take you seriously and not treat you like, um, you know, um, someone he slept with or, he, you know, he won't respect you after that, then if you want to respect yourself, avoid going to his house. You know, meet him in public. That's the best way um, that I can think of that you can actually go ahead and um, get him to really like you because you're not as easy as other women. Okay? The next step, that's number one. Number two, try always to go in a group on a date, like a group date, like a double date or something like that. Maybe hang out with your girls and you guys all go out together. That is an excellent way of, um, that's number two, an excellent way of actually, um, you know, avoid, avoid being a booty call. You know, you don't want to be a booty call. Number three. Um, you can meet with uh, his friends, his colleagues, his friends, his co-workers. This is a, that's number three. That's an excellent way. Just avoid, um, you know, contact with you guys being alone together. Um, that's so important when you first meet someone. You want to get to know them. You want to really know who they are, what they're about. And you don't want to have any regrets. You know, that's the main thing. You don't want to have any regrets of the reason why you get with them. You know, if you have sex with them, it's kind of like, okay, hey, you know, I just gave up everything that um, is precious to me. So if you value yourself, you won't give up your sex like that. Number four. All right. This is an easy way. Now, if a guy calls you late at night, 12 midnight, and he wants you to come over, and you come over there then you're obviously going to give him sex, right? So that means you're going to be a booty call. So what you would do is you avoid their calls. If they call you at 12, 11, and, and on in the morning, early mornings, yes, you're a booty call. So just don't answer your phone. Don't answer no text. Don't answer your phone. Just avoid them. You know, those are the guys you don't want to waste your time with because obviously they have a lot of women that they have sex with and you're probably one of them. So you don't want, you want to avoid that as much as possible. Okay, that's number four. The next thing is number five. Don't give it up. I don't care how much you are sexually attracted to him. I don't care how much you care about him. Don't give it up. If you really want him to be interested in you, you want it to be a challenge. You want to be challenging to him, okay? If you want him to like you more, you want to be a, a great challenge to him because he don't want the one a woman that's easy because he got what he wanted and he's gone, period. Number six, get to know him better. You know, I mean, get to know him. You know, find out what his likes and his dislikes is. You know, if he really cares for you, he's going to stick around. If any man cares about a woman and he really wants to be with her, he will stick around, period, okay? You won't be another statistic or another ex-girlfriend, okay? 
Number seven, you're trying to find things in common with him. You know, maybe go to a football game, a dance, activities. You know, do these type of things. You know, you can always go on activities together. You know, go walk on the beach. You guys can go horseback riding. You can go go kart riding. You guys can go to the mall. You know, anything outdoors, activities, public place. You know, go have coffee. Go, you know, anything that you want to do. Go walk the dogs. Whatever you want to do that's going to get you guys interested in getting, guys, getting you guys to engage with each other is the best option. Okay, that's number seven. The next one is number eight. After the date, you don't invite him in, okay, when you get home. So don't invite him in when you get home, okay? After that, you know, be like, hey, babe, you know, um, I'm sorry, but um, I have to go now. But um, it was definitely nice um, meeting you. I mean, you know, if you want to give him a kiss every once in a while, it's fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with kissing or you know, a peck on the cheek or something, but you're just getting to know him. So, you know, try to avoid being a booty call, you know, make it a challenge for him. Okay. That's number eight. Okay. Ladies. Number nine. Um, don't feel guilty. Um, if he, if he leaves you or don't feel guilty because number one, that's what you want to happen. I'm not saying you want that to happen, but that's what you want to happen because you want to meet the right guy. This is for girls that want a real relationship. If you want a real relationship, then you will make a guy wait, period. If you want him to respect you and with dignity, then you will make him wait, okay? That's, there's nothing wrong with that. If you want to do a 90-day rule, whatever you do, if you, whatever you feel comfortable, a 30-day rule, 60-day rule, 90-day rule, whatever you want to do, but that's how men want to marry women because they don't give it up. They're not that easy. They're a challenge and they work hard to get to it. You know, this God gave you, you know, you know, your God gave you your sex to be um, valuable. So value yourself. Don't let anyone have easy access to you. Okay. Number 10. Um, if you slip once. Don't make it a habit. So meaning, if you had sex with him maybe once before and, you know, he kind of like, you know, and he wanted it again, then, um, you know, don't do it again. You know, just avoid being a booty call because if you know that that's all he wants, he's going to show you signs that that's all he wants. So if that's all he wants and he says he doesn't want to be in a relationship or he doesn't want a commitment, move on. Okay, ladies, don't waste your time with a man that does not want a commitment. Don't try to make him or change him for you to be in a committed relationship because a lot of times he does not want to be in a committed relationship. What he wants is what he wants, you know, and you can't make a man be in a relationship with you. Only thing you can do is respect what he's saying and move on, okay? Number 11, he breaks it off with you or you break it off with him, you know, no expectations, okay? Late nights, brief moments. You know, number one, if he breaks up with you or tells you he doesn't want to talk to you anymore because you're not giving up sex with him or whatever, then he's not waste. He's he's a waste of your time. You don't want somebody that is a waste of your time. Okay. The main thing is you want somebody that you can be with, you can cherish, you can spend the rest of your life with. So if you want something serious, you have to take the dating thing seriously. Okay. I mean, the best thing to do is get to know that person, find out what their likes and their dislikes are, find out if they're genuine, get to know them, know who they are, all right? So if you want me to make any future videos, then um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, and if you want me to make any future videos uh, or, um, you know, add on to what I just, um, on this topic, don't for, um, forget to leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to visit AlloreTrends.com and VirginHairCrush.com. All right, ladies. Thank you and take care. Bye-bye.